Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plain Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on Blue, which is a 55 gallon barrel cut in half and then screwed together in the middle. So, this is 55 gallons worth of a bin. Alright, so if you see right here, these are the worms that I took with me on the field trip, and I couldn't be 100% sure of what was there and what went back, so I decided to put them in here. So, there might be some really cool northeast worm uh, European night crawlers that are going to end up in this bin because of it, but that's okay. Another thing you will notice is that there is a, a lid sitting here, and what's that about? Well, um, being that this is getting to be the time of year when the moisture is going to start going down, I start putting kind of a lid over the top of, of the feeding zone. Isn't that interesting? All of the bedding that was right underneath this lid has been turned into castings and then just inches away this bedding hasn't been touched. So really the moisture in your bin really does dictate how fast they are able to eat things. But for right now I'm going to put the lid back down, put the camera down, and we're going to look and see what we can harvest. Alright, hold on a second. Okay, here we are with the one quarter screen. I'm just going to grab stuff off the top here. And whatever stays on top is going to go back in the bin. So, you've got some of the crunchy bits that I can tear up, and then, of course, there's going to be things like squash seeds that are going to stay. And I may have said it before, but you don't want to keep scrubbing back and forth and, until it creates little hard balls, otherwise you're just going to make this take longer. If it's too wet, it's just better if you uh, Quit while you're ahead. So I'm probably getting about a 50% recovery on this. And that's pretty normal. I consider it to be acceptable. Now with the quarter inch screen, I will be getting tiny worms and cocoons that fall through. And uh, as of right now, I've just been letting this part that goes underneath dry out a little bit more and then I will put it through the 8th or the 12th screen. So this end of the bin is just going to be, you know, what I consider to be finished. And I'm going to, you know, try and grab up as much as I can every week so that I can add more to the unfinished end. this down here just a little. And then you can see what I've been left with. And this on its own is just fine um, if you weren't trying to capture the little baby worms, which I am. So this will sit out and dry for another couple days and then I'll screen this through the smaller screen so that I can recapture the baby worms and the cocoons. Alright, so we didn't get a lot, but got enough. I'll kind of fluff this part up here. Move it down to the other end which is what we've been doing. Moving the finished stuff farther to the end and then moving the bubble for the incomplete in the middle here. There we go. So let's, let's take a look and see what we've got going on here 
in the feeding zone. Let me move this a little bit. All right. Let's see what I can find in the food department and see how they're doing with it. Oh, here we go. That's a good size worm ball. Looks like we got some peppers and some melon. A little bit left. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Some corn. So that's a good melon. That's a good. Always the melon brings out the the worms for the worm ball. Okay. Let me bury that back up again. So the worm ball continues with all this food. But it does not look like they need fed again. I, I really kind of expected them to, but it does not look like they need fed. So even though the weather is not significantly cooler, I think the worms are already starting to sense that it's getting to be fall. I'm just putting the overs from the screening on the food. Maybe that'll help them go through it a little faster. But I, I think they must be sensing that, that fall is coming because um, they are slowing down. Norm, you know, I don't know, what was it, about a month ago they went through more food than that um, in less time. So we might start seeing the worms not really going dormant, but they certainly do slow down. All right, let's see what's underneath the, the lid over here. Maybe we've got worms that are busy over here. So this is per, you know, partially completed over here. Still got, you know, a good amount of bedding. Really nice moisture. This is a good moisture, as far as I'm concerned. Um, by the time they get done with this, then it will be capable of being sifted. But this is in no way um, like an uncomfortable moisture for these worms, which they are a mix of the red wigglers, um, the blue worms, and the European night crawlers. And, you know, it's, it's okay. Some people run their bins a lot wetter. Um, I think, you know, there's no exact right way or wrong way. There is the correct way for you and your house and your location. So, you know, I'm not going to be one of those people that says, oh, you absolutely have to do it my way or the highway. Uh, what I am going to say is that in my bin, in my basement, this is how I do it. And it works for me. All right, let me get some food. I'm going to feed down here. Uh, I'm not going to neglect this until the bedding is gone. You know, I'm not going to, like, say this is it. Just work through your food and you get nothing. So I'm going to leave a little space here, and then I'm going to go get them some food. All right, another donation from Cece. And this time I'm wearing gl gloves because this is horrible. It's been sitting in the bucket for like a week and a half. Believe it or not, the bananas and the strawberries make it smell okay. Um, but I don't want that on my hands. All right, let's bury that up. And just a short update on the 55-gallon uh, bin got a little bit of a feeding. It's got food enough at the new end. Topped it up over here. And I bought some new buckets to uh, give out for people to put donations in and I need to have a bucket opener. I just don't have the hand strength to, uh, to do that. So that's what a five gallon bucket opener looks like. If you don't have hand strength, these work really well.
Alright guys, well if you liked the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.